Mr. Lim Biao Chuan. Sir, in my work as an MP, I regularly come across cases involving disputes between neighbours. Frequently, this involves either a neighbour who makes too much noise in the middle of the night, or a neighbour who places his personal plants, bicycles, beyond the common shared space in the corridor. Sometimes the quarrel arose over minute matters, which then escalate into vulgar language being used or thrown at each other. I've also come across cases involving hoarders who accumulate junk in the flat and in the process block the common area causing fire hazard to the neighbours. It is also a hygiene issue because there may be cockroaches and rats that will come through the house. Frequently we ask HDB staff, we ask town council staff and sometimes even grassroots leaders to help by mediating between the involved parties. But the disputes between neighbours are very difficult to resolve. Many of them refuse to attend mediation at a community mediation centre. The final option is to refer parties to the Community Dispute Resolution Tribunal, or CDRT. But from feedback, many residents are reluctant to go that step. Many do not think that mediation would solve their dispute. They also think that going to the Community Dispute Resolution Tribunal would not solve their dispute. They continue to suffer in silence and the resentment festers. And sometimes, even after resolving the dispute at the tribunal, the problem does not go away. The hurt and resentment remains as egos are hurt. The Community Dispute Resolution Tribunal has been in place since 2015. May I ask whether the Ministry of Law has done any assessment of its effectiveness to help resolve the disputes? This is especially case for cases where the neighbour can be very unreasonable, or what sometimes the newspaper refers to as neighbours from hell. After a case is resolved, is there any tracking of the case? I'm concerned that sometimes the CDRT may consider a case as closed when the tribunal makes an order, but the dispute remains in the community. Parties remain at loggerhead with each other, and when I visit them as MP, they will each bring their source of complaints to me. So would an order uh, would a mandatory order for counselling help mitigate the tension between the parties? Similar, this may be similar to a family court orders for parties to go for counselling before a PPO application. May I also seek an update about cases under the POHA, the Prevention from Harassment Act. Has the specialist court been set up for the protection from harassment? Has there been many cases against doxing far in the courts since POHA was amended? Has Ministry of Law made any assessment about the effectiveness of POHA since the Act was amended in 2019? Thank you.